Hey, what's going on? Chris here, MercerCountyBootCamp.com in Pennington, New Jersey. Coming to you with a real quick video. I'm just going to put down my Ozzy Osbourne music. A common thing that I hear a lot of is the following, uh, especially from women. Don't like weight training because it makes you bulky, right? So I'm going to make this video and say the following. You are absolutely correct. Weight training can make a woman bulky. And I'm going to tell you three ways um, as to how that can be the case. Now, reason number one, or way number one, I should say, is knowing your body type, all right? Now, there's three types of bodies. It's called ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. Now, what does all that mean? Now, when you hear of the term ectomorph, think of a woman, say, along the lines of a Gwyneth Paltrow, maybe like a Jada Pinkett Smith, not saying that you have their physique, but think of someone along those lines where they look like stick figure-ish, where they have to eat a whole cow before they gain two pounds. That would be more towards that end. Uh, someone in that end is going to be very hard to pack on extra muscle tissue and also get bulky. Think of uh, when you hear the term mesomorph, that's someone again like a Catherine Zeta Jones type, Halle Berry type, uh, naturally toned, naturally uh, curvy as well. So those are the type of people where, you know, they can go down in weight, they can go up in weight. Not such a hard challenge. Now, there is another um, weight. Uh, class or weight shape, I should say, or a body type, um, better yet, that is the endomorph. Now, the endomorph, think of someone like your Jessica Simpsons, your Christy Alley's, for example, right? Uh, your Kim Kardashians. Now, how many times has their weight gone up and down, uh, up and down? It just yo yo's. Those are more of the uh, body types where they tend to be a little bit extra curvaceous around the hips around the chest as well. You know you're that type of person, for example, if uh, going through high school, all the 12-year-old girls were still wishing to fill out their bras one day, but you, on the other hand, were passing off for a, a freshman in college, okay? So if you train as an endomorph in that particular body type uh, a certain way, it is possible to gain extra bulk. Now, that leads me to number two, watch your mouth. And by that, I mean the following. If a woman's nutrition has not changed, if they're still eating, and they have to be honest with themselves, too much, 500 to even 1,000 calories more than what they should be consuming, they could easily see that by the end of the month, and if they're not training smartly, they actually can gain about 3 pounds. Not necessarily a fat, but they will also notice uh, the added muscle tissue and possible mass as well. Which also leads me to say, watch your sodium intake. If you're always consuming uh, sodium-rich foods, it is going to retain uh, water and make you feel extra bloated. Couple that in with your best friend each time of the month. There you go. Also leads me to the third tip as well. That's to why weight training will make you bulky. Know your personal training. Know your personal trainer as well. If your boyfriend, husband is like the lughead type or your personal trainer is that bodybuilder type and they're throwing big giant weights at you really saying yeah do this four reps six reps eight reps etc and you so happen to have that endomorph type body that jessica simpson type body you know what yeah it is possible that weight training can technically kind of make you bulky now stay tuned for my number one tip all right now if you made it this far i want you to listen up many of you are saying the following i want to be toned i want to lose weight here's my tip for you do not stop weight training Muscle burns three times more calories than fat. Additionally, most people say, I want body toning. Well, let me tell you this. Toning is really just peeling layers of fat so you can see your muscle definition. All right. Now, in order to see muscle definition, you just need weight training. Now, some will say, all right, how about uh, high reps and very low weight? You will not get stronger that way whatsoever. All right. The only way to get strong is the following. Strength, strength comes from pushing one's own uh, natural capacity beyond its current state. So if you're only limiting yourself and putting a glass ceiling of using five pound weights, a little cute pink dumbbells, that's only as strong as you're gonna get, your body's gonna get used to it, and you can't build muscle tissue, which once you eventually peel off fat, you can't see that body tone, all right? So this has been Chris, mercercountybootcamp.com. Don't forget to click the share button, the like button, post this to all your friends, and also type PM, if you want extra help on a seven-day tryout for just $9.95 to get you started. Until then, take care. Bye.